routine running without error. My mind is always left clear after talking to Balder. You do know why that is right. Can't you remember anything? Yes, I remember. Balder makes sense of everything. He is very wise. I won't argue with that. I don't really want to have to go and see Balder myself. Wait, what are you trying to say? Nothing. Just, just forget what I said. I believe in the just nature of Kalan. And Balder sees that Kalan's work is done. Yes, yes. Kalan sees all. Well, that's one view of it. It can't continue like this, right? Elix. They'll do anything for it. No, no. I won't accept that. They're only saying that to keep control of you. Check the supplies. Be ready in case they return. Any asshole caught stealing will be sent to the suggestors. Why do you assume everyone wants to steal from you? I have my reasons. And I have to look after my stocks. We're low on resources here. I can't go wasting them on thieves. And sure, it would be great if every acolyte could get the armor we make for paladins, but my supplies are limited. Only those who have acquired that rank can get that reward. I want to trade. Right you are. I'll show you what you can buy at your rank.
Well, if you wanted to know if the clerics could do teamwork, that building proves it. So, here is the Wanderer I have heard about. You've heard of me. I know everything that happens here. So much so that some have taken to calling me the Eye of Kalan. I am Reinhold, Judicator. I stand watch for all those in the Hort. And the Hort stands as the guardian for all of Magellan. Such a duty requires vigilance. It means I must ask of everyone who comes here, are you friend or foe? Do you come here to gain the blessings of the clerics or to oppose us? Why should I join you? Because we can show you the path to salvation for yourself and for all of Magellan. The prophet Arvid helped preserve the knowledge of the past and set us on a course to use it to build a future. You can be a part of that future. You can find your true purpose amongst our ranks. I don't want to join a faction. One day you must face that choice. I hope that day brings you back to us. Then trade, explore, meet our people while you are here and may Kalan offer you guidance as you do. May your time in the Hort be peaceful and productive. Tell me about the other Judicators. Judicator Johan fell on the battlefield. His is the highest honor. May Kalan have mercy on his soul. Judicator Ulbricht is responsible for the defense of Edan and all operations outside its borders. His is the grave duty of overseeing the war against the Owls. If you have any intelligence that might help him in his duties, you will find him in the upper halls of the cathedral. Tell me more about the clerics. What would you like to know? What's happening in the city? Kalan is wise, but mysterious. Through the prophet Arvid, he warned us of the comet and the downfall of our world. He laid down the foundations for the clerics out of the ashes of the old civilization. To Kalan, knowledge and wisdom are sacred. It is through knowledge and understanding that we can find our way to the infinite skies and a true understanding of ourselves. Infinite skies? A place of true enlightenment and salvation. Kalan teaches us that the comet's fires will not be the only challenge we face in our quest for survival. If we are to save the people of this world, we must teach them Kalan's ways. That we must work together and gather all the knowledge we can. Because when the next catastrophe strikes our world, only those who have been prepared will survive. Where did you get your technological knowledge? Arvid himself left behind this knowledge. The gathering of old world knowledge, and the order to further it, was his greatest gift to all who have followed him. It has given us the machines that allow our way of life to continue. It has given us the technology we need to be ready for the next challenge we face. So, as you see, science and religion do not have to be mutually exclusive. Tell me how promotion works within the Horde. People who are new to our ranks are welcomed as an acolyte. Acolytes can learn the art of suggestion, train and learn the fundamentals of our way of life. The same applies for our legates and paladins. Each new rank brings new advantages, obligations and privileges such as equipment. Why would I want to become a cleric? Because we're the last bastion against the Owls. Our strength, our faith, and our technology are the only things that can stop them. Where the outlaws profit, 
and the berserkers roll in the dirt. We have knowledge. The knowledge to make the world into what it once was, and much more. Join us, and you can participate in our knowledge, faith, and our technology. So, who are you? The welcoming committee? I am adjudicator. I oversee everything in the Horde, from punishment to initiation. Explain the rules of the Horde to me. Well, Kalan's commandments are simple and fair. They are rules to be found in many places, but to us, they are sacred. Theft, physical assault, murder, the dealing of chems are all punishable offenses. You may face a fine, re-education, or for the worst offenders, execution. And of course, your soul will pay the price. Stay with us, and you will learn of Kalan and his ways. Abide by the words of the great prophet Arvid, and you will open your way to eternity. Eternity. Check. So, you decide who becomes a cleric and who doesn't? Correct. Initiates are only allowed to join us when I decide they are worthy. And should they complete the tasks that are given to them, then I would welcome them into our community. And every acolyte that joins us can then begin on the path of enlightenment to gain promotion here. I'm ready. Give me a task. As you wish. I could use the help of someone who hasn't had time to establish themselves here. Someone with a more objective viewpoint. We've recently had to deal with the sad deaths of some of the faithful who... wandered. Wandered right into the arms of a chem dealer. Every one of us suffers temptation, and all must hope they can prevail against it. But those who deal in misery, who exploit the weakness of others, they are a problem that must be eliminated. Complete this task, and you will open the door to becoming a cleric, a true warrior for Kalan. Is chem dealing a big problem here in the Hort? I had thought we were free of their vile product, but it seems we do have something of a problem. A large reward has been offered to anyone able to bring them to justice. That should prevent this from becoming a bigger problem. If you think you can find these dealers, I would welcome your insight. Getting rid of some chem dealers and getting paid for it. I think we should do it. Good. I will look forward to hearing how you progress. So, you think you are responsible for holding back the elves? That is the task of the clerics now. Personally, I oversee the defense of the Horde. It is Judicator Ulbricht who is overseeing the war against the Alves. Not a task that I envy him. But then at least his work is black and white. There are Alves, and there are clerics. While I must decide which category these separatists belong in. Visitors, vagrants, travelers, and enigmas. They are all part of my responsibility. About the chem dealers here in the Hort. Yes? Do you have any leads on where they may be operating? Well, I had given Dietrich the task of investigating them, but he doesn't seem to have had much luck so far. You should check what leads he has. To my knowledge, he had slimmed the investigation down to three suspects. You should start with them. Who does Dietrich suspect? He can explain his methodology to you. But as I recall, it was a simple process of rejecting anyone who lacked the requisite access and opportunity. You should speak with the guards who were on duty at the time. Try and get that information as a written report. Anecdote and memory are best not relied on in these cases. Are there any more details you can tell me about the chem dealing? Well, these cases are difficult. Once you find someone who has lapsed into use, they rarely give up the culprit for hope of keeping their supply. But in this case, 
the user let slip the time of the deal. So we've been working backwards from there. The user involved, though, well, he's no longer in a position to provide us with useful information. And so we are relying on getting reports from the guards that can help us place who was where on the night in question. Let us hope this line of investigation produces something concrete. Where can I find these guards? Well, there's Xander. He was on duty at the main gate on the night in question. Then there is the mine guard and the factory guard. Have you been to the mine? If not, you will find it to the west, below the cathedral. The factory guards patrol to the north, by the mech production facilities. I think I know who the chem dealer is. So? You have already spoken to the three guards and collected their reports? No, I haven't spoken to them yet. And yet you still think you can name a suspect? No, I had better review the evidence before making an accusation. That would be wise. Unless you have official business here, please move along. Another thing about the Archives. What are you studying? Everything that brings us closer to our goal. What does that mean? It means passing Kalan's tests. Kalan only takes those who are pure, and so to preach his words, we must be the purest of all. And knowledge Facts, interpretation, and analysis are the purest form of all devotion. And science is the purest of all the forms of study. It brings clarity to the mind. To achieve purity of the soul, we must understand ourselves. The berserkers and the outlaws will never have the discipline for that. They live in the moment. We have committed ourselves to the future. May Kalan open the infinite skies for us all. Do you also study the old world? Of course. If we repeat the mistakes of our ancestors, it could lead to another catastrophe. That is one of the reasons why we only task those with the strongest wills to study. Who knows what corrupting influences these artifacts could have? Where do you get the material to study? It takes persistence and luck. We send out our reclamation squads to search Old World ruins. First, the selected area has to be pacified. As soon as that is done, we begin salvaging the valuable pieces and bringing them here. Those areas tend to be infested with mutants. There's a lot of planning involved. But even so, there are expeditions that don't go perfectly. Kalan teaches that knowledge comes at a price, and it is those who dedicate themselves to recovery of these artifacts that pay the highest price. I had better return to my duties. You must seek elsewhere for more answers. Yes, the newcomer. 
Now, there is a face that shows the world as it is. Conflict, friendship, betrayal, and trust. <laughs> Let me get a look at you. Whatever you have seen, you are free of it now. You've reached us here. Everyone deserves a new start, but that doesn't include brainwashing. All causes require conviction. All causes require faith. And some will say anything just to get you to do their dirty work. I need to talk to you. Then talk. Tell me what you want. The clerics say that they are leading the fight against the Alps. But do you really expect you can beat them with the forces you have here in the Hort? Faith is a weapon that can achieve much. I believe in Kalan. I believe in the technology he's given us, and in the men and women who carry it. We clerics were the first of the factions to rise after the ashes of the Comet. And while other alliances have come and gone, we have prevailed. So, we shall continue to do so, if it is Kalan's will that we should do so. But, if you ask me if we can hold out against the Berserkers, the Outlaws, and the Albs, then I would ask whose interest would the destruction of the Hort serve? And the answer can only be the Albs. You've seen them. The converters they build on our lands. The will of Kalan shall be made real. We will drive them from the converter in the north and from the lands of all the free people. The clerics shall prevail, and I hope that other factions can realize this in time to save themselves. You think the other factions should serve under the clerics? We must work together if we are to survive. But we must work together with Kalan to lead us all. We must find a way to persuade the other factions to agree to work with us. Then together we can destroy the Albs. I need an ambassador for this task. Someone who can take my proposals to the other factions. But to know if you are suitable for this role, I must know who you are. And I need an honest answer. I don't know who I am now, but I was Jax, an Alp commander. And you walk in here and confess that? Since when do Alps come to talk? Are you lying? Or are you here to kill me? Draw your weapon here, and this cathedral will be a grave to both of us. I'm not here to kill you. I was Jax. Now, I'm trying to find out who I am. Then, you have renounced the hybrid and joined the free people? I am free from Elix. I'm exiled from the Ice Palace. I was betrayed, and now I'm being hunted by my own people. So you are here seeking protection? To save your own skin? Or have you really escaped the Elix and seen the life there is outside Zekor? Commander Jax, the Alb, standing here. That is not something I would have believed. Yet, here you stand. I was a wanderer. Now, I seek a cause. Well, whoever you were shouldn't matter. The present counts for all, and yesterday for little. Kalan says the past is there to teach us, not judge us. Renounce your past, and you can come to Kalan in wisdom. That will take courage. And in these bleak days, courage is vital if we are to save this world. But you must have questions. Ask, and may Kalan bring you enlightenment. Are the Alps still attacking the Hort? It has been some time since their last major assault. But I'm sure you know that already, Commander Jax. But the attacks we've suffered took too many brave souls. Souls who would have been better improving Magellan than lining graves. The death of Judicator Johan was a particular shot. But for the price that was paid, there was one exacted, and the Alps haven't attacked us in such strength again. Well, that is my hope. They could simply be massing for a bigger assault. We've had time to retrain, regroup, but it is hardly a secret that we are short of personnel. So, if you are here working with the Albs, you'll see nothing that's not known already. And we know that the Albs have used the time to entrench themselves deeper at that damned converter of theirs. Perhaps securing that was the extent of their plans, or perhaps they're just waiting for us to attack it before they strike again. What do you know about the Alp forces? The most recent information I have is that Commander Yurik has three garrisons supported by fighting machines Colossi. Then I can only hope they haven't brought up any more reinforcements. Will you wait for an Alb attack, or strike first? The Converter has to be taken out of operation. 
It is the only way to free Ignadon. And the longer they sit there, the more time they have to prepare. We need to attack the Converter, but it will take a major offensive. And that will cost us in lives and material. Why have you waited so long to attack? Surely they get stronger while you're waiting. The answer to that should be obvious when you walk around the hut. While our production lines are made up for our losses in fighting machines, they can't do the same with people. And the death of Judicator Johan has left us with another issue. The shortage of a commander with real field experience. What about you? Can you lead the attack? No, no, no. That is far from my skill set. Logistics, defense, and interpreting Kalan's commandments are where my strengths lie. We need someone like you. An experienced commander. Someone who understands the Alps. What about you? You've seen the world. You must understand something of the Alps. Would you fight with us? Soldier or commander, we need people who've seen the world. I don't know. My memories of those times are only fragments. Though I'm sure I was betrayed so someone could take my place. No? Well, humility is an important trait in a leader. Or do you have another reason for not wanting to be considered? If that is so important, why entrust it to someone who has just walked in through your doors? Do you always trust people so easily? I trust my faith. And there is something about you that tells me you have a part to play in all that will come. Faith will show me the way. But perhaps you are intended for a different role. Will you go out as an ambassador to the free people? Speak to those who lead the other factions. Find me someone with experience. Someone independent. Someone who can lead. That in itself will give you a hand in shaping all our futures. I will find you your experience, Commander. Good. Then go out to the other free people. This Commander will be a symbol of the need for us all to work together. Be they Separatist, Berserker, or Outlaw. Find someone with experience of leading troops in battle. Someone willing to risk themselves to stop the Alps. Someone willing to lead from the front by example. You sound like you really believe we will find someone out there. Faith and necessity sometimes breed hope. You should ask the leaders of the other factions if they will take on this role. If they decline, try their commanders. May Kalan and good fortune be with you.